supposedly seen a woman around the site. A sudden coldness overcome me right there on the stairs. Did you just make a noise for me? Once. Well, yeah, I did hear it once. Childlike sort of giggles. They think there's a little boy here. Fire, is that relevant? There was a fire or something that some people died here. This sounded like it was coming down from this floor. Can you touch her leg? It felt like it was like rattling under my leg. <laughs> what? What are you this, sitting on? Um... Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Tonight we are checking out a rather incredible mining site and this place is very interesting to me because there has been a number of deaths and many visitors coming here have reported really weird experiences. So let's go inside and take a look. Old mining sites tend to be places where paranormal activity is common and the Burra Burra or Monster Mine is no exception to this. After copper was discovered in the small South Australian town of Burra in 1845, this mine site was constructed and by 1850, it was the largest of this type of mine in Australia. The site would function until 1877, but would once again be used almost a hundred years later as a modern open-cut mine. The area has seen death during the time it functioned, with men perishing in shafts or terrible accidents involving underground fires. This could explain the reason as to why paranormal activity has been reported here with some claiming to have sighted ghostly apparitions and even to have documented electronic voice phenomena within the mine's old engine house. Tonight, we will delve into the world of the monster mine site and attempt to capture paranormal activity on camera. Crypt Keepers, right now we are inside the historic and just beautiful. This place is gorgeous. This is the Morfitt's engine house. It's a huge part of this mining system, which was known as the Burra Burra Mines or the Monster Mine, which I love that name. Now in 1845, copper ore was found here in Burra and by 1850, this was the largest metallic mining site in Australia. It employed around a thousand men and boys. So there were children working here and there has been a few deaths and a lot of people have claimed to have paranormal experiences throughout here i'm going to walk around and show you this place because it's just amazing like really really cool this freaks me out and i need to show it to you <laughs> so down here is a huge drop oh wow it is really tall it goes meters and meters down and just beneath this area actually is the shaft for the Morphus engine house and there was a death down there there has been multiple deaths here at the mining site but directly below our feet people have passed away which is quite sad but it's also a reason this place may be haunted Feel what? Like I just <laughs> um You're right <laughs> balance maybe. I was coming up the stairs and I just felt really cold all of a sudden and I know I don't have my coat on it's because I want to show you guys something special that I'm wearing, but I just hit here. It's like icy cold all of a sudden. Like I just so normally I like to do a walkthrough without gadgets and stuff on, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put ghost tube on while we walk around guys. So I can still share the history and ghost stories of this place and just show you what it looks like, but we might also pick up evidence as we do. So. Maybe we'll have to come back to the staircase later. Maybe I just is there somebody here with us? I don't know if you were just, if there was somebody near me just now. But my name's Amy and I'm here with Jared and we're here to talk with you tonight. So don't be shy to come on over to us. Give us a sign that you're around or say something, move something, make a noise, maybe you can knock.
we'll be here for a long time, so I hope you warm up to us. <laughs> wow, that was cool. I almost feel out of breath as if I've just walked up all of the flights of stairs and there's a lot of stairs here. Okay. Shall we go up? Mm-hmm. Did you hear that? There's no birds in here, is there? <sighs> what? Fire. Fire, is that relevant? Like outside the building? In the mining vicinity, the area, if you know what I mean. Yeah. There are a number of ruins and other structures all around here, guys. So, and there was a lot of history here. This place functioned uh, as a copper mine up in, from the 1850s to the 1870s. And then about a hundred years later, it reopened as a more modern open cut mine. So. Were you hurt in the fire? Yeah, you're trying to... I feel like this is weird. I feel like as I was walking, I just heard the f a floorboard that I wasn't on creak. Could it have been one of mine, maybe? It could have been, but it felt like it was on the side of my body. We'll have to see if the camera picked it up. So let's go up to the top and I will tell you about some of the, the ghost stories here. If a bird swoops me or something, that's it. I'm out of here. Um, I don't know if any other investigator gets plagued with birds as much as I do. Is it because they scare me so much? Is that why? Can we just see there's no birds actually in here, right? I did. Every time. For those of you who don't know, I'm incredibly afraid of birds. How high are we then? We're super high. Oh my god, look. Oh my god. This makes god. me feel a little ill looking down. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't like to be near the edge. Yeah, let's not look down there again. And look out here. So I'm not going to go out there now. Oh, magnet. Magnet, magnet, magnet. Am was, I near something? Was it the railing? Is there... Is there someone around me? Okay. Whoa, that is super. All right, if you go... <laughs> There's something about this metal that is interfering with the phone, right? So just so that you guys know, we can just stay away from that stuff tonight. <laughs> um, married. Married. Can you tell me who you were married to? There is almost this balcony out here. I'm not gonna go out there right now, guys, because if a bird gets in here, it's not good for the building. And that's not good for me. <laughs> But these things are freaky because they're so tall and they're right on top of the shaft that I was talking about earlier. And yeah, I went out on them today. I didn't like it. It freaked me the hell out. <laughs> Who's here? Who are we communicating with? Can you tell me please? I'd love a name.
So people who have investigated this area, the mines, have reported in the engine house to pick up on EVPs. EVPs are supposedly quite common and uh, usually they're giggling, childlike sort of giggles. So they think there's a little boy here. Um, other people have supposedly seen a woman around the site, which is interesting because I would assume it would mostly be men and boys working here, but I'm not too sure if there could have been women around. Uh, but yeah, this is, I don't know of too many people who have investigated this place and I haven't seen, you know, many videos on YouTube or anything like that. So I think tonight's going to be really, really interesting for us to see if we can pick up on any names or any clues as to who might be here. We're off to a really interesting start. Some of the things that we've had, the responses on GhostTube and the feeling I had on the stairs already, I just wanna get straight into investigating. So I've come downstairs to my equipment and I'm regrouping, but before we do get into to things, I've spent a really long time, I've put a lot of effort into my latest merch release. And this is the final product. <laughs> this is Halloween 2021 merch right here. And to be honest, I have been back and forth whether to even release this because unfortunately I'm having a lot of trouble filming for Halloween this year. COVID is kicking our asses here down under in Australia. The vaccine rollout has been very slow, very poor. Border closures, lockdowns are getting me down and I'm struggling to get content at all. But you know, I've, I've stayed optimistic all year and I'm like, no, I'm gonna bring a really big cracker of a Halloween to you all, all throughout October. I had all of my venues lined up, all of this filming to do. I worked really hard on my merch with one of my best friends over the past few months to get this done. And yeah, it's all crumbling. I, I don't know if I've got anything to bring, any video content to bring to you guys throughout Halloween. So I'm very sad and upset about it. But you know what? I thought, screw it. Time, effort, money has gone into this. I'm releasing them. So these are on sale now. If you want to support Jared and I, we're doing our best to keep bringing you content. The pandemic's been really, it's getting to me. <laughs> uh, but these are below and they're quite special to me. I worked with one of my best friends who I worked with on Halloween last year and we went as big as we could this year. So her name is just w.illustration on Instagram. I'm gonna put her links below. So if you could go follow her, uh, that would mean the world to me and to her as well. So I just wanted to leave a quick note about this. We're gonna be repping the merch still, but I don't know if all my actual plans are gonna to come together for Halloween. So fingers crossed and yeah, we're going to do our best to bring you guys some some cool stuff. To continue our investigation, we have just moved up to the middle floor here. The reason why I wanted to come up here is because this is where we received the word fire, which was actually relevant to this mining site. We have also left the ghost tube SLS rigged up downstairs. Uh, there's also a REM pod down there, so if anything goes towards that, goes near it, it'll light up and make noise, so we'll know that it has been triggered. It's also mapping the area, basically looking for bodies. So if anything gets mapped out like a stick figure, that's very interesting to me. Now, that is the area where I felt a sudden cold, I don't wanna say shock, but I just felt this sudden coldness overcome me right there on the stairs. So I thought, you know, let's try and monitor that area. Right now, I'm gonna do the Estes exper experiment. Jared is going to be asking me questions whilst I listen to the spirit box with noise cancelling headphones on. This is sort of a spirit box session, but a way of reducing the bias. A lot of you guys watching my channel have actually requested that we do this because you love it so much, but also that I'm the one wearing the headphones this time. So we're going to do this for you guys. The reason why I normally make Jared do it is Jared isn't 100% comfortable reaching out and talking to the spirits or ghosts. I hate so. it. <laughs> but you're cool to do it tonight, right? Yeah, I'll ask some questions, yeah. All right, cool. So I'm going to put these on and I'm just going to relay anything that comes through that I perceive to hear. So are you ready, Jared? You yes, know what to I'm ask for it. Okay, let's do it. Is anyone here with us tonight? My name's Jared and this is Amy. You can try and 
Is it Tobias saying his hand? You might be able to generate a message. She'll repeat what she hears. I'm just going to make note that there's a lot coming through. Like, there must be lots of radio. So I'm just going to say anything that comes through really clear to me that sticks out, okay? Okay, so is there anyone here that wants to communicate? You better come through really clearly. Person. Is there a person here with us? What's the person's name? Eight. It said eight like three times. Eight, eight, eight. Is it eight people here? Are you eight years old? I'm not. You're not eight years old, okay. Is it eight people here? What are their names? I I heard something coming there. Did you just make a noise for me? Once. Oh yeah, I did hear it once. I heard eight again. Eight? Is there eight people here? You gotta tell me their names. Speak. I'm speaking to you, you need to speak back to me. Just to let me know that you're here. Give me a sign. Maybe another tap, like you just did for me before. Do you like it here? Hunger. Hunger? You're hungry? Is that what you're feeling right now? Food. I don't know if we've got any, we might have some downstairs. What sort of food do you like? I don't know if I can give you any food. Please. I don't know if I can. Half. I don't know if I can give you any, I don't know if we've got any. Her. Her name's Amy. Can you speak to her? Can you tell me your name? Rotten. Lots of food words coming through. What happened to the food? Psychological. I felt like it was like rattling under my leg. <laughs> what? What are you this, sitting on? Um, this wood. I didn't hear anything. Like out vibrations of came back to her. Is that you rattling that thing, that window sill that she's sitting on? Was that the sun? Cold. Cold. Did you make her feel cold earlier? Can you do it again now? Where? Right here. She's right in front of me. Can you do that to her now? The rock. Don't, mean, don't know anything about a rock. Were you mining the rock? What were you mining? Me. Yeah, you. What were you mining? If you don't want to tell me your name, how about telling me why you're here? London? You're from London. London? I don't know if that's relevant. Are you from London? Me too. No, I'm not from London. Or is there someone else here talking to me that's also from London? Talker. You're referring to me or Amy? You can talk through her, just... Up. Did she just say that? That's weird, no one back then would know what a nap is. The window? Yeah, she's sitting in the window. 
Do you like her? Do you like talking to her? What do you think about sitting. her? Sitting. She's sitting, yeah. What do you think about her? You can sit next to her, touch her. Show her that you can. Bertie. Can you touch her leg? Or her shoulder? Here? Yeah, go on, go on, do it. Touch her shoulder. I heard a guy laughing like a really gassy, like. <laughs> that is weird. I didn't tell him to touch the leg. Did you like that? We were talking. Yeah. If you really want to get her attention, you should try and touch her again. Donald. Donald. Okay, that's our first name. Is there a Donald here? Is Donald your name? Too many. Too many names. All right, Donald, did you work here, Donald? Did you live here? Canberra. Did you have any children? Are you a child? Mine. Okay, that's obviously relevant, but... What about the mine? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Get to... You want us to go to the mine? Tell. Lovers? Um... I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> uh, Watch it. Watch what? What are you going to do? Bourbon. You don't know. Is that you that did that or who did that? Who's making that noise? Old man. Is that who you are or are you describing somebody? Okay, that was on this floor. That was a tap. Can you tap again? Show me that you were here. The workspace. Is that where the tap came from? Where's the workspace? Can you tell me where the workspace is? Hello. Hello. Forward, outwards. Can you walk downwards, down the stairs and touch that red light? Pained. What happened to you? Were you hurt? Not much. That's good. Did you live comfortably? Yeah. That's good. I got it. How are you feeling right now? 
certainly for some reason what is it that you're trying to tell me what happened here what did you do here So this is down there. Mess. You're referring to our stuff? Is our stuff down there bothering you? How you feeling? How you feeling? Yeah. A lot of them downstairs. Ugh. That was um, loud. Your responses were pretty cool. A few random ones in there. My eyes are all watering. Honestly, it sounded like something dragging that's, out bags or something. That's creepy. Yeah, my eyes are watering a bit for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because I just had them shut and I don't know if my gloves, like, I feel really sweaty, but I'm freezing cold. So we've just come down these stairs, bottom floor now. We have, we put the lights on because um, you wouldn't have heard it, Amy, but for all you guys at home, like, there was lots of noises coming from down here. Now, we know that there's birds on the roof because we heard those earlier. This sounded like it was coming down from this floor. So we came down here, we turned the lights on. The REM pod didn't go off? The REM pod didn't go off. There's only a few things down here that could be, because it sounded to me like it was dragging on the floor or something. There's only a few things down here it could be. It's not the REM pod, because that would have, that would have, that would have triggered. I'll just turn that off because we're done with it. It would have, that would have gone on the off if it was that. So there yeah. it wasn't that. As you can see here, the floor's are mat but there's no, there's nothing on the floor here. So, the only thing it could have maybe have been is our stuff, but it didn't feel like that. Maybe that? It sounds like that. I mean, obviously on the microphone here, because we're right here, it's, it's not going to sound the same because we're upstairs, so it's muffled. But to me, that's what it sounds like. Interesting. It'll be cool to review the... A ghost tube SIS, which was rigged up just in that corner there, and maybe that can hear the noise better. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see if it picked it up. That was cool. What the heck? What was, what was that? that? That's so weird. I'm weirded out. White figure just hanging out down here. That sound like kids running around? Goes to children. Rolling children. All of our cameras are set up inside the engine house. I don't know, but it's freaking me out. I don't like it. That is also where I had the cold spot feeling. Third floor goes to SLS. Check. I don't know what that means, but the fact that it mentions ghost. Oh my god. been really really interesting so if you guys want to see more and things are going to get more interesting I promise please remember to subscribe and have your notification bell turned on because I have a part two video coming and we have just discovered that something I said during the Estes is actually quite relevant to this place that we didn't realize was relevant at the time so I'll tell you all about that in the second part uh, also guys remember I've got links below for my Halloween merch Hopefully Halloween isn't cancelled this year. I'm going to do my best to bring it to you or bring anything to you guys. We'll see how that goes, but they are on sale regardless. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That really helps me out. You can do a bit more reading about this place on my website or all of the other haunted places I've visited. That's amyscrypt.com and we post bonus content on my Patreon and my YouTube members. They're linked below and you can follow us on social media at amyscrypt, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Go follow us. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.